If you are new here, I am Robia, and in today's video, the long awaited video, I finally managed to get my lovely favorite Cloud9 flat iron back. I have been promising you guys this tutorial for so long, but my flat iron has been in for repairs. But thankfully, I got it back over the weekend, so I decided to pop this video up on my channel for you guys. So, if you are a girl with medium length hair or a bob that has grown out and you have no idea, how to style your hair. In today's video, I will be showing you how to curl your hair using a simple flat iron. I give you guys a few tips and tricks as to how to curl your hair and how to style it. And if you are simply not knowing how to curl your hair with a flat iron, continue watching this video because this one is for you. So my lighting really, really sucks today. If you guys are in Cape Town, you know that the weather is absolutely terrible at the moment. I finally managed to get my hair iron from the repairs. The hair iron that I'm going to be using today is my favorite. This has been one of the best hair irons that I've been using over the last few years. I have this one for about five or six years if I'm not mistaken. This is the Cloud9, it's a standard one. Still in good condition. The only reason why I had it in repairs was because I dropped it and one of the plates actually just got or came off its hinge so sorry that i'm out of breath but running up and down the stairs trying to see to the kids just so that i can keep them still so i can get this video down for you but nevertheless let's get into it so i'm just going to be combing out my hair so you guys can see that shine if you are following me on instagram you'll see that i had a brazilian done last week i am really really loving the results of my brazilian it's like I can literally do my hair within 15 minutes tops. That is blow drying as well as flat ironing. If you are interested in getting a Brazilian done, I will leave the details down below or you guys can send me a message via Instagram or just pop your details in the comments below. Then I can put you into touch with the lady that actually does this. So as you guys can see, my hair is different lengths as my hair is quite short on top. I had a short part over a year ago, so it's grown out. So what I normally do is I just separate my hair like this, taking out small pieces. And then you can go in with a little grip to tie up those ends. I've got my flat iron on the highest heat. The highest heat that this goes onto is about 200. But you can of course use any other flat iron as long as it's this rounded type flat iron as it will help you get that curl that you're wanting. Because I've got short hair, I try not to curl all the way from the root down as it will just give you that 80s feel. We're wanting this nice soft beach like curls. So as you guys can see, let me just pop out that earring. So what I do, I place the iron at the root and then just Sleek it out firstly and then sleek it out from the root midway and when I get to that end I just lightly flip the iron just to give me that slight curl at the end. I think I did that one properly. Yeah, so you can flip it either backwards or forwards. So it's just basically a turning method while you are actually pulling down on your hair and then just slightly twisting it. So I like to do like random pieces. So I do a few forward, a few backwards just to get that volume as I have fine hair. Just doing that. And then lightly curling it. You can either curl it or you can separate it just to make it more volume, more curls. Depends on your hair type or the type of look you are going for. It's fairly simple. So I just do it layer by layer. Obviously the thinner pieces or the less or the more pieces of hair that you take out to curl you is obviously going to be more bigger. So if you're wanting a more flat with a slight curl at the bottom, I would suggest to take bigger pieces. That way there's less curls and just 
slight volume to the ends of your hair and not your entire head. Just taking out random pieces. I don't use a comb as I like that messy curly look. Again, taking that piece and then just twisting the iron. Just for that curl. I mean, you guys can see that slight curl there. You can, of course, separate it. I usually separate it slightly just to mess them up a bit. If you've got fine hair, I would suggest you take bigger pieces and break up those curls into more curls as it just adds more volume to the hair. always struggle on the one side, it's like, feels like I'm busy with my left hand when I'm on the opposite side of my head. So what I normally do, I normally just lift the so that I can see what I'm doing at the back of my head, as it is difficult when doing your own hair. And you of course can add some extra product to your hair before ironing. Or after ironing, you get those little curling mousses that you get, which you use on dry hair before ironing. And you can, of course, use a spray just to hold that curl into place if you've got really soft hair. I like to do this. This is like my go to hairstyle if my hair is dirty because your curls just pop more and looks so much more defined when it's got that extra oils in it. So I try to make the one side more messier than the other side as I I have short hair on top and I've got bangs which is currently growing out. So what I normally do, I keep the one side more flat with a little bit of a curl and then the other side I add more volume to give me that asymmetric look. And of course, at this part, if you are in a hurry and you are late and you're doing a five minute hairdo, you can of course just go the midway through. And then I like to just tie this, this other top off up into a little messy bun. Or you can do a little ponytail with the curls hanging out on the side. Like I said, if you are in a rush, but today's tutorial, I'm doing a full head of curls. So if you are interested in checking out how I do the full look, you can continue watching, and yeah. So I'm going one more layer down, and then I will be styling the rest sidewards. As you guys can see, my hair is quite short on top, so this is me doing the last of the tame days, I would say, as I tend to go more wilder with the front section just to create an extra body. So this is the side that I'm wanting to be rather flat with a slight curl at the end. So what you can do if you want to make your curls more messy, you can always just mess them up with your fingertips. I normally just do this and curl it in a certain way so that it may be kind of voluminous on the one side but not as dramatic. And then when I get to these parts, I curl it backwards. So there is some curls but it's more controlled, I would say, and more flowy. It just frames the face. So this is when I take my ear to the side and start curling it backwards. So again, with the circular motions. So it's basically like you saw ironing your ear, but you are flipping the ear. Just to create those curls. Again, if you've got soft hair or clean hair, you can go in and spray some hair spray to it just to make sure that your curls are in place. Do not add too much hair spray as this will just leave your hair feeling all hard. 
an artificial leg so as you guys can see I'm just curling the middle length to the ends from the middle length to the end so that it's not too much going on this is the part I always back to what always takes me the longest as I want that perfect fringe more out of the face but kind of framing the face so we're just curling everything to the side it's one of my favorite hairstyles so you're going to do if my hair is dirty and I've got no time or just simply not in the mood to do my hair it's one of my go-to looks Fold them like this and then brush through it with my fingertips to still have more unity on the e. Messing them up, so I just run my fingers through it and just fluff them up like that. My ye and I have this love hate relationship. These days we come out perfect, other days I just feel like shaving it all. But luckily, we've got so many styles that we can go for. Especially on days when you're not in the mood to do anything to your ears. That's just basically what I do. It's my messy look. I think I put too much to the one side. Yep. So I normally just stack the one section behind my ear and then fluff up the bottom bits of it. And then I usually just fluff up the back. Like I said, Purely on preference, depending on how messy you're wanting your hair. If you're wanting a more neater look, you don't have to fluff it out. If you've got fine hair, you can of course go in with a comb and tease up the roots of it just to add some volume. I just like to go the old school method and use my fingers just to run through those curls. And then that completes my curly do using a flat iron. If you guys loved this tutorial, give me a thumbs up below. And yeah, thank you again for tuning in. I will be doing a makeup tutorial later this week. So don't forget, every Tuesday, every Thursday, there will be a video live at 12. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until my next video.